And I remember feeling that just that, that hard electric thud and I was thinking, well, this isn't gonna be a small mouth. I could feel that bite that good. Oftentimes in our career, especially when it comes to the equipment that we use, every now and again, you pick up a rod and you just, you know it from the start that this, that, that, that this thing's gonna be special. And when I got to hold this rod for the first time, I think that's the first thing that went through my mind is first of all, the grip. You put your hand on, you put your hand on this grip and it just immediately gives you that, that really secure feeling that you want in a rod, man. This thing, you know, the, the grip on this thing is super, you know, it's, a, it's super unique. And as soon as you put your hands on it, you know it's not gonna slip out of your hand. And I think that's goal number one. Uh, but this rod, man, the balance um, is just is absolutely incredible. And you, and you can tell it from the first time you pick this rod up. And you know, and, and the best thing that I can equate it to is, you know, uh, you know, fishing with like 65 pound braid. You know, you have a big rod, 65 pound braid, and a fish hits it, and it almost it gives you that thump and that electricity that you need. And in this rod, you know, I, I was able to fish it on a spinning rod, and you know, I'm fishing, you know, six and eight pound fluorocarbon on the spinning rod, and. 25 to 30 foot of water and I got that exact same electric feeling when a fish hit it, you know. Oftentimes, especially with smallmouth and the application that I was using it for, you know, you really have to feel for weight. You really have to feel that bite because a lot of times the smallmouth bites like that are so subtle. But I was able to feel every single bite before I leaned into that fish and that it, it's almost like a shock wave. I mean, like a shock of electricity. Ooh. Um, that's just kind of, it's undescribable, but, the, but, the, but this rod is absolutely unique. It's something you have to put into your arsenal and it absolutely made me a better fisherman. Do you remember the first fish you caught with that rod that were you using and all that? <clears throat> right. Yeah, I actually, actually do. You know, the first fish I caught with that rod, I was actually drop shotting and I was, I was in some, some pretty insane current that I was drifting. Um, it was actually in St. Clair, Michigan. and. Um, I was drifting some rock shoals, you know, in probably 35 foot of water. And so I'm half ounce drop shot weight. I'm eight pound fluorocarbon, you know, in this. And I can actually feel every rock that I'm hitting. And I can remember the first fish that I caught because I really thought it was going to be a drum. Uh, you know, a lot of the times, you know, when you do catch drum, you know, around smallmouth, you'll get that really hard hit. And then when you, you either think it's a drum or it's a walleye, one of the two down there. And I remember feeling that just that, that hard electric thud. And I was thinking, well, this isn't going to be a smallmouth. I could feel that bite that good. And as the day went on, the more and more fish that I caught with it, I realized it's the sensitivity in the rod that I'm actually feeling these individual strikes now. And, um, and it was just like nothing before. There was no more guessing. When I got a bite, I knew he was there. I didn't have to feel and wonder if I had a little, a little piece of grass on there. You know, the, the, the feeling of that fish eating um, every single time, um, it, it really, it, it changed the game.